so this is my um I guess babies and babies and parents um session or time. Um so my little disclaimer is that what will be presented is going to be presented with security and uh, behavioral health, uh, mental health perspective, um, simply because I am presenting the um, It's been communicated regarding borns, um, and now what's being communicated is kids and our babies. So it's important that um, if this is who we are, it's important that the Catherine that um, is has that. Uh, mental health or that behavioral health to not only be available um, to be a mother, which essentially would mean uh, having that lifestyle of a mother of a, and not just a mother, but a wife. It's, it's coupled with um and having a lifetime uh, having lifetime relationships with myself as the opposite um but the disclaimer is because it's being presented with security in law in that behavioral aspect because it's important um to have that with regards to the responsibilities that we have regarding babies and parents and so that's why it's being presented in this way um, so what's going to happen is that um i know that i i may have the focus of this was uh mondays and wednesdays but you know today is a a ideal day um, so what's gonna happen is I'm, I'm just gonna uh, present or show some of some aspects or some views um, that be that are being presented as being of our kids or our babies or our children and that's not generally, um, but uh, uh, specifically who um, I am with regards to this particular identity that this is being broadcast out of. So that's the disclaimer. Um, you know, so the question was, you know, uh, I've come out with saying, okay, well, I acknowledge this. Um, I think beginning publicly since March. Um, so now I am coming out with publicly sharing about the kids and whatnot. Um, I know there was mention, well, you know, the, the grandparents probably want to meet their grandkids now and all of that. But um, I guess the, the biggest question is um, that is, are we, you know, uh we you know is this the we for not only myself but is this the we for the public for what um i know i represent because essentially all that i was given was uh attributes 
of who my wife is, uh, attributes of who I am with regards to my wife, um, attributes of who we are as a couple together. Um, but what I wasn't given was what his wife looks like. Um, that is what I wasn't given. I wasn't given any physical details except the physical details that are associated with being my wife. Um, so there's those physical details as well. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, I was kind of thinking that it's similar to a Cinderella story. But it's not a fantasy. It's actual. Um, kind of like the guy going around, you know, but from the perspective that the guy going around with a shoe that essentially is um, only supposed to be one person. Um, so it's kind of like that. Uh, just thinking in terms of if you had no idea what the person looked like and all you had was this particular shoe um, that will only fit this one person. Um, and then you just kind of, you know, does it fit here? Does it fit here? Does it fit here? Does it fit here? You know, until so you find that actual one person that it fits. And then from that point, you're able to say, oh, okay, so you look like this, you know, so, you know, your physical, your visual, this is what your beauty is looking like, this is what has been paired with my beauty, so it's kind of like that, it's kind of like, okay, well, I have all of these wonderful attributes and physical details, but I still don't actually know where, who, what it equals to. Um, so, you know, the L word was definitely a lead with the L. Um, however, it's still similar to Cinderella and that there's a shoe and that is what you have that you know and finding that one that fits it so that's kind of what I have so um, so it's kind of like okay so if this is a lead then I have a lead with what it is that I know that I have with regards to that but the question is, is this the particular one that fits who I am? Because essentially, it's a we. Um, and when there's kids involved and children involved and responsibilities, um, and specific with this one, uh, it's just specifically in this one that would mean that there is no other that there is only one um, so all of that has to be taken into account with regards to fit and um, that we so with that I'm going to just kind of rant show um, different ones so it's not going to be it's not something that is set up right after each other it's going to you know be somewhere right after each other but um, I didn't set any specific times or minutes so it's just kind of going to be random um, but the commonality is the connection to um, the we. So essentially, um, not only am I looking for the right fit, um, 
that also extends that the kids, the children, the babes are looking for their essentially that fit includes who they are within their search for that um, you know coming more than who they are because um, essentially it if it takes two then that's what that would mean right so uh, that's my little briefing and we're gonna kind of take it to a different little area um, for the showings so um, well this particular one uh, is Catherine Sion morning um, the fit for who we are uh, we're gonna show As you can imagine, this is a sensitive, somewhat of a sensitive topic, especially when um, you know. Um, not only do I want to come, not only do I, you know, I'm for like coming within what it is that I have, um, you know, and being in that you know situation or that process of coming within who I am, um, you know, in bringing my wife within who she are, who she is with what it is that I know about who my wife is, you can imagine how sensitive it is in bringing, um, you know, children into who they are and viewing or seeing and knowing because, you know, just like I know my wife, I know, you know, our children them you know not necessarily uh, portraying who they are completely uh, but understanding why because of us not being physically together and um, seeing and viewing how us not being physically together impacts um, how they are presenting themselves publicly or how um, you know how that you know so you can imagine how I want to how that is an impetus or an incentive to come in together with my wife as soon as possible if not for us but for them so I, you know that interest would be with somebody that's ready and that's physically emotionally um, and spiritually available um, to be the only one, not only in my life, but in theirs as well. As opposed to someone that feels like they can, you know, not only physically, but even mentally or emotionally do whatever they want to do with whoever they want. Um, you know, believe whatever they want or attach themselves to whatever they want. Um, and you know, with no 
care or no asset, no concept of, you know, responsibilities, just, you know, publicly or familiarly. Um, so you can imagine how this is a sensitive topic. So, um, so because of that sensitivity, you should know and understand and comprehend um, the importance of why I'm choosing to use security law and mental health and behavioral health, um, those different type of layers with the showing. Um, all because of that, you know, fit and we and um, lifetime and forever. So uh, let's, uh, we're going to begin. Um, I don't know if I need to say any names, um, but I guess it would make it easier because it's different when there's like one focal point and when there's like a group. Um, so I guess I will say names. Let me get comfortable. So, um, Chris Brown.
something is random. So, like, when we do, like, the 80s battle and all those guys is battling and having fun, that's probably my favorite, favorite moment. So, I love that part. Let's go. Alright, so Chris Brown. So now we're going to go to
So that's pink. Then we are going to So we are moving on to another.
So it's not uh, so it's not an option to be like, oh, well, this one or you know, but not that one. Um, you know, I guess it's kind of like parents. You um, so I guess. You know, it's kind of like parents, you don't choose who you um, So I guess having, you know, being in this, communi this community um, is kind of the same way. I guess I didn't necessarily choose who my wife is, kind of like parents. And I guess it's kind of like children. You don't necessarily choose who they are either. So we're not picking and choosing here. It's just, um, you know, identifying and knowing um, the characteristics. Like, I know the characteristics of my wife. Um, I was given um, that to know the characteristics of the children as well. So, again, there's no picking and choosing. It's just, it is what it is. So essentially, I guess what they are, you know, kind of teaching me is that, you know, you don't choose your parents, you don't choose your wife, um, you don't choose your children, you are given who is meant for you and who brings out the best in who you are. As children, as wife and as um, parents. <clears throat> you know, you can't dictate what color they are, um, you know, what complexion they are. Um, you have to, it's important to know who they are, um, you know, to, to keep them safe effectively, essentially, as opposed to just going by, you know, I have a white kid, I have a black kid, you know, um, but to know who they are. And that's how you keep them safe, knowing their attributes and what makes them unique. So the uniqueness about our kids and our children is that um, they have characteristics of both of us. Um, it's not just one-sided. There's nothing, you know, uh, my masculine side isn't the dominating factor and her feminine side isn't the dominating factor. Um, it's a combination of both of us and you know even though I don't know like what that physical look you know I know what I feel as though I know with them um, you know like uh, because of that because of that other half I don't think that oh anybody can just feel my wife's shoes you know, say, oh, well, you know, I'm such and such and such, and I have this such and such and such, and, you know, um, you know, because of that, 
I guess, 50-50 in a sense. Um, you know, it's just not possible. Like, it's not possible for me to switch up and be like, oh, you know, um, you know, I'm going with this one now. Um, you know, or 10 years, 15 years later, like, oh, you know, with this one now, and this is my kid's mother. Like, it's not that simple. So, um, you know, I'm looking for that lifetime um, opposite that can claim and not only claim, but is who we are. And I just don't think that um, it's possible when it comes to the kids to lie or to assume a position. So, yeah, for Stephen.
So, you know, just keeping them safe, not putting belief in uh, them being in harmful situations, having the ability to look at a situation, um, so I acknowledge my portion. So that would mean that if that's not what you have, then that we do not support harm. Because essentially, if I have responsibilities with regards to law, um, and you know, you like uh, you're available, you want to be a mother and a wife, but still uh, doing what's necessary and access to um, yourself, myself our kids, um, then this distance will, you know, um, you know, I can't, you know, it's not like in the view to become closer. Um, it just seems like it will remain distant and I will still be a single father. And so that um, maturity comes with accepting where attempted murder has been, um, standing on it, and that is what it is.
Because when that situation, when it's not the case, you understand. Um, and this was attempted murder because essentially it could not with no worry other than that um, if this is in um, then it will be that stance that during the distance to something that's closer. Because it's just not realistic to have a distance if um, there's still um, support of attempted murder, not being attempted murder. It just makes access, makes it vulnerable. And I'm not willing to um, accept that type of vulnerability for myself, nor children or kids or the babies that I represent. or that we have responsibilities for.
So essentially what I'm uh, attempting to convey is that it's not, you know, this distance, you know, I acknowledge that it's not just about me or my opposite. Um, you know, they have opinions as well. Um, and they have lives as well. Um, you know, and it can't just be about me keeping them safe. They need to um, feel as though they're safe with, you know, their feminine um, guide as well. You know, especially when there's this Cujo issue, you know, you know I'm not having that, um, having them exposed to that. So, especially when um, this particular, within this particular one, had that exposure to um, that female Cujo, it becomes imperative that you make that stance for attempted murder or that safety is you know it's not I'm, I'm not gonna feel comfortable with um, you know it's not gonna it's not it's not that I'm not gonna feel comfortable but it's not gonna be sensitive uh, um, let down any blocks with regards to kids or children because um, you know that you know that access you know essentially if you're part if you are a part of them you allowing access to yourself essentially what prevents that access to the kids or the children. So, um, you know, not for them as well, it becomes that attempted murder is necessary. So, No, because yeah, you know, I, uh, the wife has these attributes, but I still don't have that, um, you know, physical. And I know that um, part of those attributes is keeping um, our children safe.
and also part of it is keeping my opposite safe while we're going through this process as well not having full knowledge of this and not having full knowledge of that um, you know is part of it is you know part of what I have comes is in that one as well so So essentially the idea is that taking that stand against that, uh, regarding that attempted murder uh, towards, you know, while being within this will prevent um, that Cujo female from in any backlash or prevent that um, situation. Um, but look towards care. Oh, so um, afterwards care. So I guess essentially um, the thought is for my opposite to be in afterwards care as well. And that means I'm not talking about Cujo in the present tense. Um, I'm in afterwards care. And that means um, caring for everything that may have been impacted um, when Cujo female and Cujo male was attempting to be present in belief um, and be present in um, that you know that Cujo could that disease could be of use or that um, whatever it is that they were trying to have could be of use so the afterwards care essentially is caring for um, anything in anyone that um, may have been impacted by you know improperly attaching to certain beliefs um, you know Im improper beliefs um, improperly attaching to improper beliefs regarding um, their health, their use, um, or, and or their ability to contribute. So that is where it is right now. And all right, so. I might have to stop because um, stop for now. Um, this is my first time with this, and it is becoming kind of problematic.
So, Chrissy Teigen. So again, just responsibilities of you know, you know, babies and parents, um, knowing and even when something appears to be very beautiful um, and loving, and even when there is um, love there, to still kind of know um, what love is ideal for our kids. You know, not improperly instilling, um, settling, you know, you know, like if it's good for you, um, then that's where you need to settle. Um, or if it's good, then that's where you need to settle. But 
even if it's good or good for you, um, you know, is it actually good for who you are? Can you be a we with that good um, for you? Um, so, you know, it adds a little complexity to it, but, um, You know, I guess uh, that feminine role is, I guess, in that perspective when, you know, the feminine don't have that full knowledge of certain things is to, you know, let go and to just know that your opposite will not lead you astray um, or take advantage of you, any part of you. You know, having that trust. You know, and you know, I definitely couldn't like come closer or have this distance come closer to someone that will have them, um, you know, being in characters that they're not, um, even when it's acting. Um, you know, just like we have guidelines, our children have guidelines when it comes to how they portray certain characters and what they have responsibilities for. and. It's important for them to portray those characters within who they are and not, you know, go into something that they're not and portray a character. So, um, you know, that, that acting, um, you know, you allow with regards to acting becomes very important because the distance is not going to get closer when, um, you're just like loose and it's just like oh you know it's just acting that's what acting is about no that's not what acting is about acting is about being who you are and bringing who you are to a character that is that is what acting is being grounded in who you are or having someone who knows you ground you within who you are to portray a character not to just be something that you're not and have like you know like some offender attempt to occupy your person or your personality you know and call it acting that's not acting You know, so essentially, I can't be with someone that allow that would allow that in the in a false, unrealistic, fantastical um, perception of acting with regards to our children, or myself, or herself. So again, we're back to that fit and those attributes and, um, you know, not just my fit, but our fit.
buyer's remorse or something? God, no, nothing like that. It's just like, we've been shopping all day and I still don't have to screw up Mr. Hall. I've tried everything to convince him of my scholastic aptitude, but I was brutally rebuffed. Oh, get over it, okay? Stacy Dash. a man who wants to make everyone else miserable, too. Dean, that's it. We've got to figure out a way to make Mr. Hall sublime and happy. Here's the 411 on Mr. Hall. He's single, he's 47, he earns higher judgments than a thankless job. But what that man needs is a good, healthy boink fest. Unfortunately, there was a major bait drought in my school. Evil. So, Stacy Dash.
I like, um, let's see. Maybe two more. Two more, and uh, we're going to call it a day. So this is babies and babies and parents and babies. So again, just the whole security and law um, and behavioral health and mental health um, aspect that I feel is necessary because um, I and we, you know, essentially looking for that fit. Um, having however many leads or however many attributes that um, you have, um, it still comes down to that, like that Cinderella shoe, who actually, you know, fits it, you know, what, you know, what does that fit look like, you know, what, what, what does it, you know, you just have the attributes of what it fits like, but, um, or what it looks like, but you know, what does that whole complete um, opposite essentially is looks like? You know, what if you still? What if you know within this one is still like? Uh, you know, I want to, I'm supposed to pick and choose who I'm supposed to be with, and, uh, you know, as opposed to whatever's been put out there, um, this is, It's not a role that you're playing, but it's actually who you are. So, um, we, Chris Pine, Christopher Pine,
So, um, again, this is or introducing. How do I introduce? And, like, oh, you know, um, you know, what do you want to do? Pick them up, hold them? I mean, you know, you have a murder situation, you know. So, Chris Pine, caring about who attempts to be close to your kids.
And so we're gonna um think this is what I think it is. So we're going to conclude with uh, Crystal Waters. This isn't going to be the last one. I'm going to show one more. No choice but to go to the next one. So So um yeah that closeness comes with um essentially because you know, damn borns, if we were with anybody else other than ourselves, then it was cheating. And would we knowingly do that to each other? So we just have to call it what it is. Because I'm not accepting cheating. Um, I don't accept, I don't expect you to accept it. And... Um, so, you know, it, it is what it is. It's either, you know, rape or attempted murder. Um, and so, now we're going to conclude with, uh, Chris North.
So, uh, that might have to be it because uh, let's go here. So if it cuts off before I close, um, this has been uh, Babies and Babies and Parents and Babies.